say there's a few things going on down there. A few things going on down there. And in fact, today, if you don't know already, you should know, today is a historic day because we, in fact, signed an agreement, the City, Metro Lakes, and the TTC, to secure an agreement moving forward for the implementation of four light rail transit lines in this city, $8.4 billion worth of development. This is wonderful news. This is very good. So I think that's uh, that's pretty cool. Your city needs you. Your city needs you to be involved in planning its future, in part because of this endless involving that is taking place here. There's a great opportunity here in the context of the Eglinton Crosstown to, in fact, think really carefully about the kind of city that we want to create for the future. This event is part of a larger series of consultations that is being undertaken by the City Planning Department. And I'm not sure if Lorna introduced her team or not. Did you introduce your team? So there's a team. Are you guys in the room? Okay, so stand up, my friends. Everyone on the Edmonton Crosstown team. Stand up and wave your arms. It's a bit dark, so it's hard to see. But it's important for you to know that there are a team of very talented and dedicated planners in the city planning division who are working under Lorna's leadership to execute this planning process with the consulting team on a very, very tight timeline. And the work that they are undertaking is essential to the success. We're not just building transit. We are, in fact, building a great city. And this is both a visionary as well as a functional exercise. For example, we need to understand and plan for how Eglinton will both look and work the first day of the operation of the light rail transit. But we also need to understand how to grow and evolve our communities and our city with this infrastructure in the long term. If we only build light rail transit, we miss the mark. Our opportunity here is to build a fabulous city and to think about how we can leverage this investment in a really substantive way to benefit the overall structure of the city and how we move about in the city overall and also how we move in the city. We need to ask some very important questions. What will the streets look like in the future? Where will people live? Where will people work? What will the buildings of the future in fact look like? Where do the tall buildings go? As we grow, do we need to plan for more schools and more community centers? Can we create better connections to our parks and ravine system? Will it be easy to walk to work, to walk to school? Because we all know that transit, fundamentally, is about building a pedestrian-oriented city. There are many, many questions that we're going to need to answer, both over the coming year and in the years to come. But let me be clear, we are a growing city. More and more people are continually calling Toronto home. Toronto is a great and desirable city. This is why people come here, to live and work. We offer a very high quality of life. But there is a risk. There is a risk that we do not, in fact, leverage the transportation investments that we are about to make in such a way as to create great places and to create great communities. And this evening, and the consultations we're going to be undertaking, are about having a substantive, informed conversation about the, want, the kind of city that we want to become and the way these infrastructure investments can, in fact, define the city that we are becoming. Now, some of the work has already been done. Uh, it's been done by the province of Ontario, as well as by the city of, of, of Toronto. At the provincial level, Eglinton is already identi identified as an intensification corridor in the regional transportation plan, the Big Move, which, was, uh, uh, which came forward in 2008. At the city level, Eglinton is already identified as an avenue within the, within the official plan. Now, avenues are the places that we've identified that can accommodate our future growth. And it's very important for us to be clear about where growth will go and what that growth will look like, precisely because we want to be clear about where change won't happen, where growth won't go. Those two questions need to be intrinsically linked. 
And in part, that's because growth along the avenue can in fact be moderate, it can consider context in a very careful way, it can ensure that we protect stable neighborhoods that are recognized within the official plan as places that do not need to change as we accommodate a significant amount of growth. We also want to recognize local neighborhood areas which are not necessarily targeted for growth and development in places like Young Eglinton, which are centers for growth and in fact will see some of the most intensive growth in the city. We need to be very thoughtful and careful about how this growth takes place. A key objective of tonight is considering how other places have leveraged transit infrastructure. There's an opportunity for us to learn from best practices elsewhere, although I would argue we have many great best practices in the City of Toronto around planning our land use and our transportation infrastructure in concert. It's one of those reasons why people already come. But there are opportunities for us to learn about more recent developments, work that has taken places, for example, in Europe, some of the places that Antoine is going to talk about today, where transit has been leveraged in order to ensure that we're creating great places. We want to think really carefully, carefully about ensuring that we're creating solutions that are very specific to the City of Toronto. This process, this consultation process, this study process, that will result in a very strong and clear planning framework for how growth will be accommodated along the corridor is going to be informed by your participation. Tonight is an important part of that. Tonight is about inspiration. Together, we are in fact going to make this city even greater. I believe we are on the cusp of transitioning, maybe even formally, launching the mid-rise city through our transportation infrastructure investments. This evening is about learning. It's about minimizing some of the risks that growth can present. It's about sharing ideas, and it is about building our city together. Please join me in welcoming Antoine for our keynote presentation.